State lawmakers have just begun a two-week veto break. When they return, they'll have just two days to wrap up any unfinished business. We were watching all the yays and nays come in, listening to what they had to say. Jennifer Dunnigan was happy to see the Senate pass Senate Bill 47 to legalize medical marijuana on Thursday. She relies on cannabis to manage a condition known as gastroparesis. Now she's waiting for the vote in the House, where the bill is expected to pass. Oh, it, it, it will be definitely a, a very happy day. <laughs> uh, it, it is an achievement, you know. Um, we need medical cannabis. Meanwhile, sports betting enthusiasts are hoping for a final vote on House Bill 551. It needs a vote in the Senate, but its fate is less certain. Honestly, we're, we're trying to get one or two more votes in the Senate right now, to, to put it right, right, right to the T, and um, thought we had the votes a couple of weeks ago. Um, started getting a person or two wavering a little bit. Many will be watching to see if Governor Andy Bashir vetoes Senate Bill 150, which prevents anyone under the age of 18 from receiving gender transition services. They'll also be watching to see whether or not lawmakers override that veto when they return. Were we to move forward, I think what would we would we would seek would be an emergency injunctive relief to prevent the, the bill from going into effect so that Kentucky trans youth can continue to access the medical care. Senate Bill 115, which places new restrictions on drag shows, could also receive final passage in the House. Chris Hartman of the Fairness Campaign says they'll be watching the final days closely. Stay engaged. Don't stand down. Stand up. Fight back. This isn't over. An attitude no doubt shared on both sides of the issue. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.